what would be the greatest job in the world that you could ever have and think of anything, anything at all, what would you like to do for eight hours a day? How do you define story and how do you teach it to students and clients? We tell stories all the time. Even as I'm talking to you, I'm telling stories. I'm bringing characters in. Um, we, we're, we're made to tell stories. We're made to, we're made to tell stories about what you know, our aunt did that. Oh my God, she's, she's crazy. She's out of her mind. You know what she did? And so we're story building constantly, just even, even if we don't know it. And then that's when we go, okay, so how do we craft it? And then it's just like, let's, that's when I talk about character and plot. Let's talk about a character. Okay, what does this character do? Let's talk about plot. And then um, what I, I do this, I do a free writing workshop for the library once a month. And so it's one of my favorite things to do because I get nobody I know in there. It's just like all of a sudden I have all these eyeballs looking at me going, teach us how to write a story. <laughs> and, and sometimes they have a lot of experience and sometimes it's the first time they've ever even thought of being a writer. And um, so right away I just talk about character and plot. And the what drives me nuts about the, the, there's monumental catalog of books out there, you know, 500 pages, how to create a plot in a screenplay, 500 pages, character work. I throw all those out. There's not, it, we, it, it's the, we can't be bogged down by this intellectual, this is how it is, and blank, 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 blank. It is good to read those books. I mean, I'm a fan of Joseph Campbell. I'm a fan of, um, you know, I, I'm a geek about storytelling, but as far as, as far as it's concerned, just start writing and just have a character and just give them a goal and then just get in the way of the goal and just see what happens. And then what I do is I do free writing. So I'll, I'll do a free writing exercise. So I'll just put them, I'll, I'll have them do a free write. And then they usually don't know that there's a second and third part. I'll throw in the plot twist for them. And, and then they're, and then they, they've, they create kind of full fledged stories within 30 minutes on, um, and there's a beauty to that. And it's, it's, uh, there's a beauty to, um, having a time limit and then just going, you know what? You all wrote crap. Everything you wrote is problematic and awful. I can't wait till you bore me with your story because what you wrote is, you know, you, you, it took you 30 minutes. There's people that write for years to write a good short story. So let's let's see what happens. And usually they're all very interesting. They're, it's way more interesting than anyone would ever think. And um, so that's that's kind of how I wanted, you know, I want people to just jump into it and write a story in 30 minutes and then kind of walk away and go, I can do it. And it's just like, yeah, you can. But you kind of got to do it every day and it's got to be a practice. Like anyone could, anyone could do yoga. They might, you know, but you're not going to go do a handstand on the first day if you've never done yoga in your life. You got to come and practice every day. You got to, you know, teach your body. So when you're writing, you got to teach your mind. Teach your mind that you're coming to the page. You're coming to the page. Then your mind starts to go, oh crap, we're coming to the page. I better come up with something. So. Can you give me an example of, let's suppose, what a free writing sort of uh, assignment the, in five minutes, Karen, I need you to, and, and you, you would have me write something out, what would it be? So uh, what, what I, so here's an assignment that I, get, uh, that I give is, I asked, I, I would say, Karen, what, what would be the greatest job in the world that you could ever have and think of anything, anything at all, what would you like to do for eight hours a day? And then... I would hear what you would like to do for eight hours a day. And I'd be like, great. On this scenario, you're going to get $50 million a year to have this job. But you only have one more. You've been through eight interviews. They want you. You have one more interview. So you need to, um, you need to drive to the interview. But when you, as you're driving to the interview, you're going to get a car accident. And someone's going to cut you off. And so right, and I would tell you to write that, write that scene. You got the last interview for the greatest job in the world for all the money you could ever want, but this car cut you off. And that would be the beginning of that writing exercise. And then 
the plot twist that you know, everyone write it out. And usually it's just like, that, you know, that just, I'm going to kill it. And, oh, you know, and, the, and it's just great. They like really get into it because because they find something they're passionate about the character. Right? It's, we've created the character. The character has a passion and the character has a goal. And then after that, that limit, I go, okay, great. Now you're, now your character's at the interview and they find out that the person they got in the car accident with is the person that's interviewing them. Now, how does that play out? And that's when it's just like, you know, cause they weren't thinking of that there. And so then they, then they're like, oh, how do we, how do we resolve this huge problem now? Usually that has been a very contentious scene is now the person that they need. So it's a lot of fun. And then after that, um, my big question is that the last sentence is, do they get the job or do they not get the job? And usually it's 50, 50. Um, so usually people find a way around it. People it's, so that would be that that would be one of the the one of the one of the lessons I use a lot to get someone to write. And that would be about 30 minutes. So I'd have them write about 10 minutes, just really dive into the anger of the scene, 10 minutes of resolution, and then uh five minutes after that. So excellent. That sounds fun. Yeah, I know sometimes the beauty of being in a writing class is just hearing the other people. It's not it's not so much getting critique on your own. And there, yeah, and in that situation, there's no critique at all because oh. it's just read. It's just reading it. Oh, I see. Okay. So and and for the most part, everyone is laughing at every story because they're so good, and it's and people get really t like I've had people who are like that is the first time I have ever read anything I've written in front of everybody. It happens more than not, and um, and I'm like, were you expecting that reaction? They're like, no, and I'm like, you you got story to tell, so make a decision. You're going to join us in hell? <laughs> what is it? Laugh with the sinners or cry with the saints? Um, <laughs> Virginia, come on. You know, um, no, I don't I know why it. I'm singing. I shouldn't be singing. Why are you allowing me to do this? No, thing? no. You, we... <laughs> but at Billy Joel. I would join in if I <laughs> yeah. knew it. I got to watch Mystic Pizza. I got to listen to Billy, Billy Joel. <laughs> if we were to have a Tony DeShane five-part writing process to a story, what would that be? I don't know why I'm drowning a blank. A pen, paper. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pen, paper, good cup of coffee, That's or, or whatever, or whatever drink, mm -hmm. um, and uh, a, a desk or even a chair, just somewhere. And um, you know, whether you're disturbed or not disturbed. I think something that happened with COVID is uh, people said. Oh, it must be great for you because you can write now like you want. I'm like, no, 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 you don't get it. I have to be irritated to write. People are not, I need to be in a cafe where people are talking loud on their cell phones. People are being awful and I have to tune that out. And then I have to write, I have to kind of write in, uh, in situations where it's kind of antagonistic, where things are coming at me. And that's when I do my best writing. When I'm at peace, I don't do great writing. Yeah. Yeah. No, the certain coffee shops are great um, for conflict and for. Oh, and it has to be boring. People are like, oh, do you have intelligentsia? I'm like, oh, no, I'm at Coffee Bean. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, why would you go there? And I'm like, because it's boring and corporate. Oh, so you don't want too much, too much happening. I don't want it to be cool. Oh, oh I see. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want it to be hip. OK. So no filtered water and, you know. <laughs> just... Yeah, I, arabica beans or what? You, you've got to have more. Just I mean, I, I coffee bean has great coffee. So yeah, um, yeah, you just want something where it's not. There's not hipsters coming in all the time. Well, no, it's. It, it, I just I don't want the whole place to be a fashion show. Oh, I, I, okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. I, 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 but it, a group, you know, hipsters or not. I mean, people look at me. People look at me and sometimes go, "Oh, great, there's a hipster here." I get it. <laughs> so. Well, sometimes what's great are, are old diners. I know they're, they're yeah. hard to find where there's someone that I'll be right with you. And it's like they're going to serve it from one of those ancient coffee oh, pots. Yeah, yeah. And that's great because there's yeah. so many characters in a place like that. And it's real quiet. And there's just everyone, you know, like each person has a fascinating story, like what yeah. they're doing. And yeah. But there's not that many places like that anymore. Yeah. They've been replaced.